But so on your end, give me some numbers here. So you get a project. How many people submit to that project and how many of those you pick for an audition and from there a call back and then hiring? So it so there's very way there's various ways now. If I do what's called an open call and I allow anybody to send a video for that project, it could be God, let's just say I did 18 to 21. And that's just an age category. Because even if I did 35 to 40, you're going to easily get over a thousand, close to maybe 14 to 1600 videos. Now, if I go in and select them, so the talent submits them and then I select who I want to see, then I can limit the numbers by choosing only the people I want to see. And knowing that I have a day, two days, or three days to watch tapes, depending how they hire me. I know that I can probably get through guessing between 60 and 150 tapes a day, just depending if there's dialogue and what I have to watch. So that I probably will bring in three or 400. Now, mind you, if you were coming to a regular audition for me, there would only be 30 to 45, 50 people a day for that one role. So, Getting self tapes lets me see a lot more people for the role. So do you like that better than? I do, I do because I get more people in because sometimes it's like actors that I would love to get on this job and show my clients can't make it in, they cancel their audition, um, why they cancel an audition. You know, usually, you know, most of them have something very serious they gotta take care of. Either it's a doctor's appointment they can't change or you know, otherwise, actors that pass on an audition, they're giving up a, a chance because they're not, there's so many actors they're up against it. If you're not gonna send it, if you're not gonna come into your audition, you're gonna pass your up your audition. This is an invitation. 30 to 40 got selected out of, and in that, I, and agents, oh, agents submitting to me? Agents submitting to me is, could be over 3,000 today. So out of 3,000, I'll pick a couple hundred, or if you're coming into the studio, I'll pick 40 or 50. So see how it slowly comes down from the, let's just, from that, let's just say 3,000, even if it's 2,500. So you're being honored with an audition, and then you're declining your audition after you got past all those people. You just got a great opportunity, and you throw it away by not showing up or not being able to make it. We understand there's a problem, but I would love to be able to bring you in day two. Sometimes we don't have a day two. So out of that audition, depending on the clients, you can have anywhere from those that want to be very specific. And we'll see six to 12 per role. And then you'll have those that maybe we'll see, you know, 14, 15, if that many. It just depends how many we've brought in and how many days of casting. But let's just say of an average, we did two days, we saw 60 people. Um, the average usually is about eight to 10 per roll. That you would that you would call back as a callback, eight to 10 yeah, people. So I send them all the tapes and the ad agency, agency producers, creatives, everyone who's created the commercial and the director will make a decision and bring them back. Sometimes we've had as many as like 50% or more being called back and then we have to cut it down because there's just too many people and not enough time in the callback day. So there's all these variables about how much time they have to run the callbacks, are we there for the full day, how many roles, that kind of thing and how many we can see. So again, if you get your callback, you're even closer. And we, you know, that's a given because you got the callback. Now you just have to know how to audition for the callbacks and how to audition online for a callback. So the things that actors would just kind of cruise on in, wait for their audition, we'd be able to go out to the lobby and talk to them, give them feedback, they don't get anymore. And they've got to be their cameraman, they've got to be their you know, set decorator, they've got to be their prop master, they've got to be, you know, they've got to be everything, their lighting director, you know, so it's a lot of responsibility and there's a lot of weight on that. And so besides being your actor, you've got to be what I'll call the technical department, which is everybody else, the crew. How are you going to do that? 
you know? So, if you're a total newbie that doesn't know anything about the casting process, here it goes. Let's say you're at McDonald's and you want to make a commercial. They hire a production company to make their commercial. The production company then hires a director. The director then hires a casting director, Mr. Stuart Stone, to find the people for the commercial. Now, Mr. Stone then hires you for the commercial. Since McDonald's is a huge corporation, got lots and lots of money to spend, they want to hire professional actors that are in the union. SAG actors or Screen Actors Guild union actors. These actors get paid very well upfront and they get a residual afterwards for every time that commercial is run. Next video, I'm going to talk to you about how much these actors get paid, all right? So only agents and managers can submit actors for this kind of commercial. The casting director sends out a casting call to all the agents and managers. Hey, we're looking for a dad type, 30 to 40 years old, cool, gray hair, any ethnicity. Stewart will get three to 4,000 submissions from agents and managers. The first thing he looks at are the actors' headshots in their profiles. Then he offers auditions to about 300 actors if it's a taped audition or about 30 to 60 actors if it's an in-person audition. Now, after deliberation between McDonald's, production company, director, casting director, they'll call back six to eight people for a final round of auditions. Now, this is where they're gonna choose the star, you. So, if you're gifted with an audition, do everything in your power to make it happen and make it great. So thanks for joining Stuart and I today at Win With Acting and <laughs> shit. <laughs> and please like and subscribe our channel. Take care guys, bye.